having a good drink. Yeah. Hi guys, good morning. I didn't actually realize it's actually a long weekend this weekend because Labor Day is on Monday. When you're a stay-at-home mom, like every day is the same. You don't really get holidays. Um, but I thought since it's a long weekend and since we've got a few minor things that we were planning to do, I thought I'll take you guys along with me and do another weekend vlog. I haven't done this in a very long time. Um, thought I'll start early though. Today is Thursday, but Thursdays are our play date um days with mother's group so it is almost 10 o'clock now um just as you saw we got up um she had a bit of a um a feed on the boob and just laid around um for a bit pumped the excess milk and then the doorbell rang and um i don't know what the etiquette is on delivery but it literally like it took me like maybe like 30 seconds, a few seconds, just to kind of find some clothes to put on to answer the door. And it seems like like the delivery guy literally just rang the doorbell, put the item into the mailbox and left. Like, what's the point of even ringing the doorbell? Anyways, I thought it was um, Kyung's delivery because he's waiting on some meat to be delivered. That's why I kind of made an effort to get out and answer the door. But it turned out to be um, just a delivery, which is actually open. So I don't know whether... Lucky it's like nothing important. I just got some cheap ass like hair curlers on um, eBay. But yeah, quite disappointed that I don't know why it was like received open. Um, but yeah, so I'm just about to make breakfast. Well, actually I am making it right now. So I pre-made some sandwiches, just ham and cheese, um, which I'm just toasting. Also have some fruit prepared. So basically what we're doing is we're going to a baby bounce sesh at the library. Um, we went last week and is it really, well, I'm actually, I actually don't know whether she liked it, but I liked it. It's just a half an hour, like baby bounce session. And then we have our mother's group after that. So we're going to the picnic because hopefully the weather is good. It's a little bit chilly because we are now in autumn and it's finally a few days late, but autumn is now starting to kick in. So I thought I'll contribute. Um, our little picnic, have some fruit, got um, Izzy's milk ready to go, have my coffee that I pre-made because I pre-make everything to save time. Otherwise, it'll literally take me three hours to get out of the house. But to save time, I make sure I pack and pre-make um, everything and plan the night before. So about to head out. Um, I'll show you what Izzy's wearing as well. It's so cute. So this is what Izzy is wearing today. Finally get a chance to wear this jacket from Hux Baby. I was kind of worried because Hux Baby clothes run a bit on the smaller side, but at least she gets such opportunity. I didn't realize it was like cropped. Um, these are from Pure Baby, which is like a triple zero, and she's definitely growing out. This girl can't wear skin like leggings because she's got thunder thighs, which means that shoes are really hard to put on her as well because of her big like thighs. Um, cause her feet are like tiny. They're about that big. But if you really, once her feet is in it, her feet is probably like up to there. Like it's all these gap here because the thighs are too big. I had to like take out um, a pair of lace. But that's what she's wearing. It's a little bit cold. So she's got her little turban on as well. Hopefully her fingers don't get cold. Thanks mum for being a tight ass. Didn't want to pay for parking. So I parked a bit further away. Great. <laughs> So it is currently 3.30, just got back from um, our mother's group. I honestly, I'm thank God I have a really, really good mother's group. When I was pregnant, it was something that I was really looking forward to, just getting to know, you know, other mums and like being in the same situation. And I was so worried that, you know, what if I don't get along or what if I don't, you know, get into a good group or don't really... Um, can't connect with them but we literally connected on the first day and it was so good so we are now organizing our own mother's group and it was just great to get out there once a week and just hang out um but yeah it's 3 30 so it's a little bit late um izzy is exhausted and taking a nap right now i'm just currently pumping um after this i might i don't know maybe have a little nap or maybe 
have I don't know what to do like I don't really have much plans now I am going out for um tonight I'm going to the Melbourne fashion show my girlfriend's got me tickets to go um so I'm gonna go with my girlfriend so I'm so excited I finally you know get to go out the house um but yeah so I'm gonna show you like my current pumping situation I guess this may not be interesting to some people but if you're a mum this may be handy especially if you're expressing so excuse the mess and the noise but this is my expressing basket um pretty much what I've done is I've just put all my breast pump stuff in a basket um, just so I can carry it here and there. It's got all the essentials. I've got, I'm currently using the Spectra um, S2 pump. I was using the Medela one, but I find that this one's a little bit stronger. And plus it comes with double. So if I want to pump two boobs at once, I can use that. I've got a hacker in there and just a couple of bottles for milk. So I don't exclusively pump. I do try and breastfeed her once in a while. Lately, it's just been every morning I'll put on the boost. I could have a bit of a snooze. Um, but I like to give her bottles because when she came out of hospital, well, she was in there for so long because she was having trouble sucking. So we kind of got her used to the bottle. Um, I primarily want her, I guess, to get used to the bottle. That way, you know, we don't have to do it later on, if that makes sense. Um, but she's just used to it and plus it just can it's convenient for us because I mean can can feed her also we know how much she's drinking as well um, the only thing about pumping is that sometimes it takes a long time because you have to you know not only feed her but then take time to pump and sometimes it could take from 20 minutes to take a half an hour sometimes I just forget that I'm pumping because I'm on my phone and I'm doing it for like an hour or so so it can get time consuming um, but I personally find that I produce more milk by pumping and I try to do it more regularly but so far, I do it like about four, three, four times a day. Um, but yeah, because I live in a two-story house, like sometimes like I'll do it upstairs um, on the couch. But a lot of times, like if I'm downstairs, rather than going up and down, especially, you know, to keep an eye out on her, if she's napping, I don't want to move her. Um, I have to bring everything down. So I find it by keeping everything in a basket. It's just easier to transport, I guess, taking it up and down. Um, and everything I need is there so my hands a free I guess I have to carry it down the stairs um so that's just worked well for me I'm putting everything in the basket usually when I pump I use that time as me time to use my phone go through social media things like that sometimes like around afternoon around this time or around two o'clock I would usually have lunch and eat and pump at the same time um just to kind of multitask but yes yeah. so this is the makeup that I'm going for today just going really simple I feel like it's so weird going out of the house when you're a mum like excuse the background noise Kang is watching um a fishing but yeah it's like going to a disco when you're in primary school it's like such a big deal um so much planning involved but yeah it's 5 30 didn't have time to have a nap just heating up some leftover to have for dinner on my way out so I'm just having laksa that I made last night and then once I'm done I'm just gonna get changed and probably dawdle my way out take a few pictures um to cherish cherish this moment but yeah laksa is so been craving laksa I haven't had it in a very long time <laughs> Lucky I didn't get changed before I ate because I've got Luxa splattered all over me. So this is what I'm planning to wear tonight to a fashion show. We are watching a runway, which is super exciting. It's like, ooh la la. Um, this is obviously, like, actually most of these still have their, like, tags on them because I have not even worn them. So, a little bit rescue. But this is what I'm wearing to the fashion show. So, I don't think I'll ever really get a chance to wear this. So I thought, why not? It's a fashion show. Why not just go all out? Um, YOLO. Um, but yeah, so pretty much all these clothes, I don't think I've ever worn before. It still has its tag on it. But it's quite affordable. Like, I think it's pretty good considering, like, altogether, it's probably like 100 bucks or something. But basically, I'm wearing my sneaky bike shorts underneath because, let's face it, no one wants to see um, me in a leotard. Um, this under bodysuit thing is from Bras and Things. I think it's like 20 bucks. And this, like mesh dress I got from like Zara for like $32.95 or something it looks so pretty like it's a little bit like out there but I thought you know what it's just so pretty 
Um, and I have this thing with mesh as well. So mesh and lace, I'm kind of like addicted to. So yeah. And this jacket is from Dottie. I think I got it from sale. It must have been like $50 or something. Um, but yeah, finally get a chance to wear this whole outfit. Now shoes, I was thinking maybe I should go heels, maybe what, whatever. But you know what? I thought I'd go something different and wear my um, superstars. I did superstars because it's comfy. That is my outfit that I'm going to be wearing tonight. What do you guys think? Ooh, I just love the bottom bit. I'm not usually a mullet kind of person, but I just like how this flows. Okay, so I ended up changing shoes because Kiana thought I looked ridiculous. So it is almost 8 o'clock. I'm just in my car waiting for my girlfriend. Um, I actually came early to scout out parking because parking is ridiculous. Um... But I found parking, which isn't too far. So I'm just sitting here, just snacking away on my muesli bars. And I realized, okay, well, I decided not to wear a bra. I don't know why, because, you know, I don't exactly have pancake titties. So I really need to wear a bra. But if I wear a bra, it kind of like hides half of the lace from my bodysuit. And then I realized, now I realize that the last time my pump was at 3.30, Hopefully, by the time I get home, it's almost 8 now. By the time I get home, it'll probably be, like, later. And I haven't pumped in several hours. So, I really hope my boobs don't start leaking on me. Because that would be really bad. <laughs> So it's now Friday afternoon. Um, just got up, did my morning things. My parents are over at the moment. Um, here to visit Isabel because I love spending time with her. And they're going to spend the whole day. They're actually going to sleep over tonight. So which is a good thing because means Kang and I can go out for dinner. Yay. Um, but yeah, so last night was really good. Um, a little bit, I had a really good time. But it's kind of in the back of my head mixed thoughts about it. Like there wasn't, maybe because we didn't really look around. Like we stayed for a bit after, but we didn't really look around but there was more like you can get drinks and um like things but there wasn't really food or anything which you know we're a fashion show i'm not surprised that's probably why everyone was so skinny <laughs> but like yeah there was like photo ops you get to walk like you know the not runway but like you know the like photo ops um so i did some of those which i just realized like so yesterday i wore like a over, like a um, bodysuit over shorts, bike shorts, which to me, I don't know whether I must dress in the dark because for me, it looked like it just hid everything under the mesh. But the positioning of the lighting on the photo place, um, you could see like every floor. So I kind of felt like I was like a bit pregnant and have a bit of a gut belly because like it was really defined. But I'm like, eh, you know what? Kind of made me feel a bit self um conscious about it um a lot of my self-esteem a bit but you know what that's just fashion show i guess that's just part of the industry um which coincidentally today is actually international Women's day so you know what like it wasn't bad and i think i'm at that stage where i'm actually owning my body so i don't really care if i've got rolls and stuff hanging here and there um like obviously sometimes you're just gonna feel a bit down but you know what like I'm proud of like what I can do, what I can have, and like you know if this body still end up giving birth to a child, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, so we got like a little gift bag thing for um the show. This I think it was sponsored by Priceline, so I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick, a quick um squeeze in what was inside. So um just a whole lot of goodies that came with the tickets so a lot of beauty products now if you followed me then you may notice i stopped doing beauty because i don't know it's just not like what i'm into right now um but so this is quite interesting um most of these stuff i took a quick look yesterday not sure where i'll use this but like they're pretty much everyday stuff that i may end up using these be all pore strips i really liked before Ken likes them as well so i'm sure we'll get a use out of those my hair is so frizzed up so I guess this will come in handy. It's the Swatskov Daily Oil Elixir for extra shine, which comes in handy. I'm surprised, actually, as well. You get a little beauty blender. Um, obviously, this isn't the beauty beauty blender, but this is like a, what's this called? Like thin is Lizzie. 
Oh, yeah. So Thin Lizzy does like those um, powder face powders, but they also come with their own kind of things, which is cute. I'm not sure how much these are, but you know what? I would have just gotten the cheap ones from Kmart anyway. Um, comes with a little, comes with a shaver. I'm not sure this is actually a full product. It's pretty cool. Um, also comes with moist. I'm assuming this is moisturizer. Sunscreen lotion, 50%. I wonder if this smells nice. It looks like it's going to smell nice. Um, more sunscreen. I love how nowadays it's like 50%. Usually it's like 30%, but, oh, they're all 50%. This is slightly tinted, which would have been great for summer, but uh, we'll see. Um, a little micellar water. That will come in handy for, like, traveling, not that I travel much anymore. Um, and this one is Canacel Beauty Oil. Hemp stem cells. Not sure what this is, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, toothpaste, handy when you're traveling. What is this? Loved by skin naturally. I'm assuming this is more oil, some sort of oil. Um, I love a bunch of sensors. This is Listerine. Ooh, Listerine Go tablets. I'm assuming this is like. Um, they're strips, but in a tablet form. Um, Ole Luminous Whipped Active Moisturizer. Ooh, I wonder if this is like full packaging. That's pretty cool. This is an Australis eyeshadow palette, which is quite neutral, which is really nice. I'm kind of going back to very, very old school, like when I was in teen, um, with these kind of like just over the shadow for a little bit of shimmer. And a few more samples. So... Shampoo and more. Well, this is Cherry Blossom Jojoba Oil Oil Lotion. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's all we got from the fashion haul thing. So it is almost 2 o'clock right now. So I have nothing else planned. But I'm going to take this opportunity to wash my hair. Because I've realized I haven't washed in a couple of days. Um, and just, I don't know, do a few um, domestic chores around the house. And before we head out for dinner tonight. So we are in Richmond at Tom Toon, one of our favourite Thai places. Um, we originally wanted to go have oysters, but don't think we'll have time, so we're going to watch a movie later, but yeah. So this is the place I popped my mango sticky rice cherry, and you know what, tonight Fiona is going to pop hers. <laughs> Melbourne street art. <laughs> Just ate to tie. Now we're off to watch a movie. Since my parents are looking after Izzy, thought we'll make the most out of it and watch Captain Marvel. Hello Kitty and Miffy. <laughs> so, just in Daiso, I didn't realize but the prices have gone up. It's no longer a 280 store. It's like, what the hell is this? 680 for Pocky. What? Anyways, I thought of the best idea. If you go to movies, you know that popcorn and drink combo is like ridiculously expensive. It's like $20 or something. But what you can do is go to Coles or Woolies, get a 1.25 liter of Coke or whatever you fancy, go get a microwave popcorn for like $2 or something, and if the cinemas is in a shopping center where there's parent room, there is a microwave in there. You get what I mean? So you can have hot coffee, like hot popcorn and drinks for like peanuts compared to paying 20 something dollars for a combo. You're welcome. Just grooming Coco. Look how much fur and like hair comes out of this little kid, huh? What is wrong with you? No wonder we've got to vacuum every day. Hmm? Afternoon, so today is Saturday. It is um, 1.30 right now. We're just about to head out. So today we're planning on going to South Melbourne Market. Um, there's a muscle festival, so I thought it was a nice sunny day. We'll go check it out. Um, I just got Izzy dress. It's so cute, but I think it's a little big. So I got her this romper. This is a size double zero, which she's too big for a triple zero, but this... I think double zero is still a little big for her. And I got this because it comes with this like cute little hat. Thought she might not get a chance to wear this um, because it's starting to get cooler. 
So I can't remember where it's from. I think the shop is called Ollie something, Ollie's Place or something like that. Um, but yeah, so the weather is nice. It's like getting cooler. So the sun is out, but it's a nice cool breeze. So hopefully it's a nice day. Um, last night we went and watched Captain Marvel, which I don't love it. But I don't hate it. But I do admit I did almost fall asleep during it. Um, it was a good day to watch it um, during International Women's Day. Because there was definitely a lot of strong, powerful female roles in the movie. But for some reason, like, I don't want to spoil it. But I did kind of get like a Sailor Moon vibe from it. Which is weird. And I think like, you know, if it was like Captain America or something, I felt like it was very like PG rated, like more girly, if that makes sense. So it is almost eight o'clock and we're having a really late dinner. The Muscle Festival's okay, but it's pretty hard to kind of look around when you've got a pram because like, you know, there's curbs everywhere because it's technically on a road and like prices have gone up. So it used to be like $10. I was complaining over $10 for like a plate of food. Now it's like $15. So it's getting ridiculous, but yeah. So it is now, yeah, almost eight o'clock. So we're having dinner. We're just having a last minute hot pot night. I haven't had that in a while. So today is Sunday and honestly feeling a little bit overwhelmed today. Like I'm not going to lie, I just felt like an hour crying. Um, just feeling really emotional. Don't know whether, I don't know, environment, weather or just people in general. Just feeling really low. Um, we had plans today. It's actually Kang and I's anniversary. Um, can't exactly remember how many years. I think maybe 15 years or so now, but Cam went fishing this morning, which was fine. But then I didn't have a problem with it because I was going to take Izzy along, but then it would have been so early and just didn't really suit. She's already, she, she's already a bit out of her routine because she's not really drinking lately. And I don't know why. And this morning was a bit of a struggle and then she exploded everywhere and I just burst out crying like, yeah, it's just overwhelming. So we were meant to have also dinner plans tonight, have um, cousins come over, but that's just been cancelled. So, yeah. So today is Monday, it is public holiday, it's actually Labor Day today. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better today, like yesterday just got the best of me. Um, just so much things were bottled up and everything was just making me really sensitive. So um, yesterday like I just spent most of the day crying. Like nothing in particular, it's just overwhelming. Um, just felt overwhelmed over everything. And I went for a walk yesterday afternoon and I was just like tearing up. For no exact reason and I was on my phone I was on the phone with my cousin and every time I spoke to someone I just started crying but then it got to the end of the walk where I came across um, a little puppy and its owner and I don't know I was talking to her for a good like t would have been 15 20 minutes and after that I was fine again so all I needed was just really a little d distraction and I was fine so last night um we ended up making silmai or tried to make silmai um first time for dinner it was actually it wasn't too bad but there was a lot that could be improved um so I'll probably tweak it and give another go um before I start sharing recipes and stuff but yeah so today um we were thinking about going to Moomba, which is like a festival that's on around Labor Day all the time. We actually, like I said, Kyung and I actually had our, it was actually our anniversary yesterday, 15 years. We met at Moomba 15 years ago, um, but we didn't actually do anything because you know what? Like We're getting to the stage now where 
we don't do big celebrations anymore, so we didn't really do anything. We were going to think about going, but we just wanted to kind of sleep in a bit and chill. And today would have been like the um, the Moomba parade, which would have been busy. By the time we got there, it would probably be late. So we ended up just going grocery shopping, doing um, going to Kmart. Kmart is like my happy place, so feeling a lot better after that as well. Um, but yeah, so it's now almost 5 o'clock. I'm just pumping right now and having a little snack. I don't know what this is, but I kind of really like it. So I don't know. Like, Let me know if you know what this is. It's like an Asian kind of like sweet. Not so sweet, but like a sweet dessert kind of thing. Um, I secretly love it. So, yeah. Um, but we'll probably just have like a really early, like just a really laid back dinner. Um, something easy and the, all the kids need bath today. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, it was a bit of an up and down this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again next time. See ya. Bye.